It's time to find out who's gonna win Obscure Tribal Week. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code ITRESOLVES 10 yp for 10% off your entire purchase. What's going on guys and welcome to the third and final part of Obscure Tribal Week. We have seen some insane decks, some really really fun uh, tribal decks this week. We started off with Modern Uro who submitted a weird deck, unfortunately did not get any wins, which was a little surprising. But I think even more surprising, Spinneraptor on Wednesday submitted an Ooze deck that I thought would do really, really well. Uh, and unfortunately, while it did get one win, that was the only win we got. So we are trying to beat one win today with the deck that we have got chosen out. Uh, I'm really excited to jump into this one. Just as a reminder, guys, if you don't know what these challenge weeks are, essentially we set a challenge for everybody in our Discord community to build a deck around. If you would like to submit a deck for these challenge weeks, you can certainly do so. We've got that uh, challenge submissions channel in the discord that you are welcome to take part in we encourage anybody and everybody to be a part of this and show off your deck building skills it's really a fun time the winner of each week also gets a mystery proxy pack filled with five random mystery proxies that are normally only available to our patrons we've got some really killer ones including very recently getting things like black lotus in which is kind of sick so regardless guys i cannot wait to jump into today's deck let's go ahead and see what work we're working with And this is it. This is submitted by Needles, who has actually submitted some decks before, but never gotten chosen. This is the first time. So Needles, thank you so much, my friend. I'm really happy to have you on this one. Uh, and this is Crabs. And the first thing you may notice about this is we don't actually have that many Crabs. Uh, we've got eight. So we've got Ruin Crab, and we also have Iceberg, uh, the can cricks whatever this is um we've only got eight uh but we do have a lot of ways to kind of duplicate so we've got reflections of lit jara we've got quasi duplicate all things that are going to help us uh duplicate the number of crabs we have and then ideally kind of turbo mill the opponents out uh at heart this is a mill deck uh, as such, we do have Teferi's Tutelage here, uh, which does allow us to mill cards from the opponent's deck, as well as the Ruin Crab and the uh, the Iceberg Crab here. Uh, End of the story is here for some card draw, Bond of Insight in here for um, not only milling, but also then replaying some instants and sorceries. And then a lot of the rest of the deck is just control. Now we do have Helm of the Host, which is going to allow us to hopefully copy those creatures as well. Domination to steal the opponent's creatures, <clears throat> which is actually very interesting in my opinion. Uh, and then of course, just a lot of removal including fatal push heartless act and drown in the lock uh we do have jawari disruption here as well it can enter as a land obviously or we can use it as a conditional counter spell uh we do have field of ruin and fabled passage as a little bit of an extra way to hit some land drops uh basically double up on the landfall triggers um doesn't always work but we're gonna give it a shot let's see if we can get three wins with this one i'm hoping that we can get uh get some cool ones because needles again a new player to the uh the challenge weeks and i'd love to see you win the first time out so let's see we're gonna go through three games hopefully we can get some wins and here we are for game number one now this hand really isn't all that great uh unfortunately we've got no nothing to really hit uh and drown in the lock obviously won't be active for a while we're gonna go ahead and mulligan this one I actually like this a lot better. It's not great, but it does have the removal side of it. So we're going to keep and see how it goes. I'm going to throw Helm back. <clears throat> Obviously, it doesn't have a target right now, so I'm not really worried about uh, attaching it to anything. But and more importantly, uh, we want to make sure that we keep all of these cards. This gives us some longevity. And then these obviously are just a way to uh, deal with what the opponent has. What is this? I'm going to kill it. Uh, I'm assuming we're against Merfolk, but that seems like a very odd inclusion. Uh, that doesn't seem good at all. <laughs> uh, so we'll see what happens. Uh, that's actually very good. I'm going to get rid of the quasi duplicate since we can actually just replay that at some point. Is this just like base level blue deck? I'm so confused by this. Uh, all right, let's see. <laughs> this is very interesting. Um, a land is not exactly what we're looking for here. Um, and I think I am going to go ahead and... Oh, no, excuse me. Let's not do that. Ooh, that could have been bad. Uh, we can Heartless Act this at some point. We'll just wait. 
I mean, we don't, we're not in a huge rush. We can uh, heartless act this at some point and get rid of it. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully, um, we're not in any major danger here. This is a very interesting, just basic mono blue list. Uh, I'm very curious to see how this one goes. All right, got it. Go us. Um, what could they have is my thing. They've got the Sphinx in their in their deck, which is fantastic card, but I I don't see where the uh, the power level is going to be here. So let's do this. Obviously, going to mill a few cards. This is literally like the stock blue list, and they they are at platinum. Um, I'm very curious to see if this actually does anything. All right, uh, we're getting there. <laughs> I mean, I, this is a weird one. Uh, what an interesting. Interesting play. Um, okay. I mean, that is a very good card. Uh, that is going to be difficult for us to deal with naturally. So very, very solid. Um, we're going to quasi-duplicate the Ruin Crab. Uh, I'm going to discard the Fatal Push solely because it doesn't even hit this at its best. So there's really not a huge point in it. And now we're milling a lot more cards every turn. Um, so confused by this list. I'm so enamored uh, right now. Um, <laughs> this is really funny. Whatever you cast a non-creature spell, creatures you control. Okay. Whatever. Um, get two cards milled. We're just going to play another Ruin Crab. I mean, it's all we really can do. Uh, I would love to Field of Ruin, but the opponent just has basic islands. So there's really not a point um, or a, an ability to, to be honest. Um, if we lose out to this, I'm going to be really sad, which is unfortunately possible because they do just have things that fly. Uh, now, we do have cards in our deck that uh, could theoretically kind of help us get this uh, going, but we do need to, to draw some cards here. Okay. Uh, well, that's helpful, honestly. Uh, so let's do this. We each get to mill four. Um, we can take into the story and heartless act <clears throat> that seems very good um and then we can just heartless act one of these guys so now next turn assuming we live um we just end the story and we should be able to mill quite a bit here um very silly deck that we are up against right now i love that somebody is doing this though just playing like stock blue on uh on the ladder <clears throat> that's hilarious to me um Oh man, they win. No, we were a turn away. Ugh. All right, well, that's okay. Let's go ahead, guys. We will jump into game two. Unfortunately, that is a loss for game one. And here we are for game number two, guys. And uh, this is an interesting one because truthfully, we don't have any black, uh, which could be a big problem, but we do have the Ruin Crab. I'm gonna try it. Uh, if we get any black source, we're in great shape. If they crucially just have a non-basic land, we can actually Field of Ruin to get that uh, black source as well. So I don't feel terrible about keeping this. I am slightly worried though, especially if we run into another just kind of stock blue list, we may not have a basic land to hit. Uh, so we'll see. Thankfully we do. All right, that's helpful. Um, that's very helpful, honestly. So let's go ahead and throw this out. We're gonna mill three. Looks like this is a Yorian deck, uh, as they do have 80 cards. Um, interesting. So we did get two very strong Wrath effects out. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, we just do this. And I'm going to go ahead and fetch a Black Source here. Uh, thankfully, we don't need a lot of removal in this situation, but I do think it's worth it to make sure that we get... Uh, access to it as quickly as we can. Wow, they have so many sweepers. Like, are you guys seeing this? There are so many of them. Uh, thankfully, we don't have to attack because <laughs> uh, that could be a problem. All right, let's do this. Uh, and we do have end of the story, but we are going to just wait uh, and see if they do anything. We're obviously not going to attack. Um, and hopefully we can just kind of mill them out here. Um, Do I want to do anything? Um, I mean, I can just counter this. I think we do just counter it. 
we might be able to kind of get him here. This leaves up Jawari Disruption, uh, which if they do decide to sweep for some reason, like we can actually get around pretty easily. Um, there's another land, so <laughs> we're just going to keep the, the mill train going here. Um, the question becomes, do we actually want to end the story? We don't have to. I mean, our, our entire hand is instant speed. We can actually just wait and see what happens. They very crucially missed a land drop. They have it now, uh, but they did miss that land drop, which is kind of interesting. I'm going to go for the, the end of the story here. <laughs> um, they could very easily have a counter. We've obviously milled a few, so I wouldn't be very surprised. Uh, or just a bounce spell or something, but a bounce spell really isn't the end of the the world here uh if they have a burn spell that would kind of suck but okay just a counter and that's fine um i mean it's not great for us obviously but it's not the end of the world uh so let's go ahead and do this it's gonna get three more cards milled um i mean interestingly we can kind of take them off red here which I think I'm going to do, uh, if they have a basic land, obviously this doesn't work, but this does allow us to, to hopefully mill a few extra cards here as well. Um, and I am going to get the second black source just in case it does allow us to kind of do double duty here. Um, I mean, we're milling a good bit, uh, which is kind of funny to me that we've gotten a good ways through their deck. Um, I think we just wait on the other. We've got the disruption, so I don't, oh, they don't have a basic. Oh. Oh, that changes things. All right, well, then we're definitely just doing this. Let's get him off of black. Obviously, I did not. That did not even register with me, uh, but that is hilarious. They don't have any basics in their deck. Um, hmm. Curious. Very curious. So we took him off red. Hopefully we take him off black here. Um, and I mean, I don't know that there's much they can do. They're behind now two turns well more than two turns on lands just because they miss so many land drops so interesting oh i like this uh the opponent timing out potentially here out of uh maybe out of spite but we'll see maybe they just are 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 not paying attention <laughs> maybe <laughs> uh we'll get a blue source if they if they do allow this to happen um and then that way we can basically we've got the double black at this point it's just a matter of stocking up on blue as much as we can so if we get the domination then we and they do play a creature later on then we can just steal it and we're good to go um i'm guessing that they are just a little upset um which hey i would be too don't get me wrong uh but the fact that they don't have basic lands in their deck it's a tip for anybody playing historic right now um field of ruin is very popular and if you are going to be playing in a field where Field of Ruin or a format where Field of Ruin is like kind of prominent, you should probably at least have one or two basics in your deck just in case. Um, if nothing else, it gives you some outs, uh, which I think is very, very important uh, in general. So, I mean, I'm very happy with this. I'm going to go ahead and play out the crab. We'll just play the disruption as a land and mill a few more cards, I think. I mean, why not? We could wait and try and Jawari disruption something, but we kind of just don't need to. Um, they're down to two lands, like, uh, and it doesn't seem like they've got one in their hand. Yeah, I think uh, I think they're a little salty. <laughs> uh, I mean, hopefully this means we get the win then. Um, I think we're... I mean, we got a long way to go to mill that we're not dealing damage to him. So we do have to mill them out and we're not actually that close to doing that. I mean, we've gotten a good ways in, but you know, uh, we're, we're not really super close to it. <laughs> I think that's really funny. I feel really bad, but also I don't at all. Um, all right, there's three more cards and we pass. I mean, might as well. Uh, at this point, I just kind of want to finish this one up because, I mean, if our opponent's not even there. How are we doing, guys? We made somebody salty. Needles, you did it. This is this is what Crabs is about. It's making people really upset uh, by milling them out and apparently hitting their lands, which is just funny to me. Uh, did they have any basics in their deck? Like, did we just mill any? No. So that's just like on them for deck building that way <laughs> that's on there uh, uh, i'm not mad that's on them cheers people 
Ah, tasty. Um, well, assuming this works, I mean, needles, we're tied. We are tied for the lead, which just as you guys know, um, if any anytime that we tie for any of these challenge weeks, everybody wins. We try and be very chill about this and like we'd rather give more than less. So we're going to make sure everybody gets to win if if there is a tie. Uh, so needles and spinner after there it is. We have got a win. We got one more game to go, Needles. Let's see. Uh, let's see how this one shakes out. I'm, I'm loving it. <laughs> and here we are, guys. The third and final game is here. Uh, let's see. I, I like this hand. Let's see how this one shakes out. We've got Fatal Push. We've got a Ruin Crab. We're gonna lead on that Ruin Crab, and then most likely play the Pathway Land after. Depending on what we see from the opponent, though, we may want to play this as a land, and then that allows a turn three tutelage as well. So we will see, but I definitely am keeping this. And hopefully we can just do what we did last time and kind of wreck them. Um, that was really sick. Needles, you put together a good deck here, my friend. Um, uh, let's, uh, let's hope that this opponent doesn't get uh, salty, or we don't get salty, because that's always a worry. Um, Opponent kind of taking a minute to decide what to do. Um, I don't know why, because it shouldn't take this long. You can do it. I, I believe in you. While we're waiting, guys, how's your Friday going? I hope it's going well. Let me know in the comment section below. Tell me something you're going to do this weekend. Give me something fun. I am... Uh, well, Caitlin and I both are actually meeting up with Will uh, tomorrow. If you don't know who Will is, it's the the other founding member of It Resolves. Um, and we're going to be going to, to play some disc golf, uh, which I absolutely love. And so I cannot wait. Looks like our opponent's just not there. <laughs> um. All right. I mean, yeah, anybody else play disc golf? <laughs> this is hilarious. What is going on with Arena right now? Did they just give up? Nope, they waited until the absolute last second. We're not, we're gonna play this out if it takes forever. Sorry guys, if there's a lot of silence in this one, it's because I'm not letting this happen. Uh, that is so frustrating to me that people are willing to do that and like, just stall out a game to see if they can win. That's such crap. Um, not willing to, just not. So this is gonna, assuming they are, are actually there, I'm not willing to uh, to just let it go. I'm gonna give them a nice little hello. We'll see how this goes. Huh. <sighs> It's gonna be the longest game, solely because our opponent's being a douche. Anybody who sees this name, go roast them. Don't actually do that, that's really rude, but come on, like, don't do this. Nobody should do this, for the record. All right, there we go. We are not gonna count that, but we are gonna leave this in the video because that's crap. I hate when people do that, so. All right, we're uh, we're going to move on <laughs> to our actual third game. And here it is, the through the true, not through the true third game. Uh, do we keep this hand? I mm, I don't think we do. It doesn't have a lot going for it. Uh, so I'm going to say no. This I will keep. I'm going to throw that back. Um, and I think what we're going to end up doing or having to do is throw out the Fable Passage first, depending on what land we draw. If we just get an untapped land, then we're good. Um, and there one is, so yeah, that works out. Um, let's do this. So the reason the reason I said that is because we do want to trigger this if we can, uh, and that's very easily done with Fable Passage, so we can pull out a Black Source with that. That opens up Fatal Push as an option, but it also triggers the, the Crab here. Um, curious to see what the opponent has. It could very easily be another mill deck. They do have blue and black here, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's like rogues or something. Albeit, if they were gonna play rogues, I would have expected them to have played something at that that phase of the game, and they did not. Um, maybe they just kill this. We'll see. 
There's another fable passage. Um, okay. We're just going to go fetch up a, uh, a swamp. Pretty straightforward. Gives us the black source. I'm sure they can kill this uh, crab at some point if they'd like. Um, that is going to trigger. So even if they kill it now, we still mill two. Uh, which is good because we do have end of the story that we need to get online uh, at some point here. Ah. Truthfully, what if they are going to kill it, what they should have done is already done it by now. Um, so this might just be a control list. Um, it at least looks like it. Obviously not going to attack. No need. We'll see what happens. They didn't do anything for the first three turns of the game other than opt. Um, so there's a thief, uh, which is actually kind of nice for us because what we can do is basically trigger revolt on fatal push um we'll do this i would love to take that action um and then we can fatal push here might as well all right we also have the field of ruin that can help trigger revolt as well so we do have another backup way to do that if they just have another thief of sanity or something like that um although at the moment doesn't look like that's the case this does put seven cards in their yard, though, which does open up into the story as an option. Uh, I mean, sure, I, that's kind of fine. Um, my turn. Cool. Uh, let's let's see. I think I just bond of insight for now. We're going to keep this simple. Um, we'll see what they do. They may have some kind of counter. Um, which if they do, it's kind of fine. Yeah, Disdainful Stroke. That's cool. Um, I'll play out the land. We don't necessarily need to, but I do want to make sure that when we do play into the story, we're not like just full of cards in hand. That would not necessarily be a good thing. Um, and again, kind of same thing. This also does get around certain counters. I mean, it's not great, but yeah. Okay. Uh, sure. Let's see what happens. A lot of uh, nothing going on right now. They've got two cards in hand. Thank you. All right, something landed. That's helpful. <laughs> uh, yep. Can they blow it up? Please don't be able to blow it up. Interesting. OK, uh, so we do just get to play it again, uh, which is kind of nice. I'll discard the quasi duplicate. It's not doing anything at the moment anyway. And we can just replay it later, so easy enough. Uh, I'm going to get rid of a Fatal Push here. We're going to mill a couple cards. Ooh, nice. We got a Murderous Rider out. That's a very troublesome card for any deck to deal with, generally speaking, so it's kind of nice to, to get that one done. Oh. Oh, I don't like that. Um, all right. Well, if that's the case, uh, I'm not going to play out the Ruin Crab, I don't believe. Um, yeah, we just wait. Sure. Now we can play out the Ruin Crab. Uh, and we can also quasi duplicate said Ruin Crab. So I'm really kind of hoping we hit a land. It's another quasi duplicate. Uh, we'll play the Ruin Crab. Uh, and I am going to go ahead and duplicate it. If they deal with it, they deal with it. But this gives us just if they've only got point and click removal, basically, it gives us some options. Uh, yeah, resolve. So that does fizzle the quasi-duplicate, to be clear. That also gets rid of those two, which is fine. I mean, we're halfway there, but we got a long way to go. Um, there's a Helm of the Host. Uh, okay. Yeah, we'll play Helm of the Host, I suppose. Um, <laughs> the opponent's probably very confused as to why that's in the deck, um, which I get. All right. Uh, truthfully, we should be holding on to these lands, but I'm just kind of not. Um, we're over halfway there. All right, so this is kind of nice because um, we do have a play here. So let's do this. We're going to get rid of Watery Grave. Um, and what this means is we trigger Revolt. We can deal with the Thief then. Uh, which is just nice. 
So, um, yeah, we'll just get a basic. Hopefully this lands. We're doing it while they've only got two cards in hand, so I feel a little safe. Yeah, all right, cool. Um, Heartless Act is good. I mean, eventually we just kill them, right? I mean, or they run out of time. I mean, we still have 20 life. They've got 21 cards in their deck. They're losing three a turn, essentially. Per turn cycle, I should say. Um, there's a domination. We just wait. <laughs> Needles, I think the wait and see attitude is is working out, my friend. Um, that hastens the clock quite a bit. See if it lands, and it does. Surprising. Um, all right. Now they mill a lot more. Oh, that was a good one, too. Holy crap. Uh, this little dude, Doom Whisper, freaking sick. Like, that card is ridiculously good. Uh, and now we're at a point where, like, even if they play something, we just get to gain control of it. Um, like this thing. I'm gonna steal that. Like, hardcore just straight up stealing that. Um, alright, so this costs three less to cast, so we do need to pay a little bit here. Um, but they really don't want to surveil very much here, I don't think. Um... We've only got a few cards left. Nope, wrong. Um, all right, so we do want this to be five, right? Mana value, yeah. So we steal this, theoretically, and if this doesn't work, we have Heartless Act to kill it. I mean, seems pretty good. Needles! Oh my gosh, I'm so stoked for you. All right, let's talk this through. Okay, holy crap, what a series of games this has been. This is a, a ridiculous thing. Now, I, one thing I wanna say, this is a crab tribal deck technically. That being said, it doesn't have a ton of crabs in it, but I am gonna count it because um, I, while it, it does only have eight crabs, the idea is to duplicate those crabs, and I think that that's worth mentioning. Uh, and so I love this deck. It's a mill deck at heart. It did great. Uh, I cannot believe that worked out. Uh, Needles, my friend, the first time you have been in the challenge week and you have won. I could not be more stoked for you. Congratulations. Sorry to spin after as well as Modern Uro and indeed everybody else. Uh, we had a lot of submissions this week. I think potentially more than we have ever had. Uh, and so I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody. It really does mean a lot to have all of you guys participating and, uh, seeing what you guys can come up with is really sick. So thank you guys so much. As a reminder, please make sure you submit a deck for next week. Big mana week produce the maximum amount of mana in one turn. But remember, if you're just producing mana, you may not get your deck selected. It, it does need to do something with the mana. I, I wanna do something fun with it. So please keep that in mind. Uh, but guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. And again, congratulations, Needles. You want it, my friend. I cannot wait. Let's see what you guys can come up with for next week.